Hello there. Welcome to The Groomsman. I'll be your host, Jonathan. Today I'm using Timmerman Black. Uh, first time use for me. It's a, a set I bought off the Buy Sell Trade page. Actually, I think it was a double-edged shaved end page, but somebody was selling on there. They got two Holy Cause sets and the Ciro base. Um, this one and Club Yanka. And I really like it. It's oud and wood. And woody oud. The, the scent on the puck is a little light. But in the lather, it's a little bit more prevalent. And I haven't used a splash yet, but um, smelling it out of the bottle smells a little bit more stronger than that as well. So we'll see at the end of the shave. But the lather whips up nicely. <laughs> it's my wife flirting with me off screen. Um, holy cost, a little bit expensive, comparatively speaking. Uh, their thing is they blend, or yeah, they blend the, the line between standard shaving care and skin care. So they pick all their ingredients, um, not just to give a best shave, but to be the best for your skin for during the shave itself and then post shave afterwards. So I think that comes out with the little uh, increase in price tag. I've only got a couple, or the two sets that I just bought, and then I had one other set, Fosier Mania, that I, I really like as well. But it lathers really nice. Um, the Sierra base is pretty impressive if you haven't ever looked it up before. You can hit pause on the video and check out that really extensive ingredient list. That is a tallow-based soap. They do have a vegan base as well, so they sell in conjunction. I have not used that yet. For the razor today, I'll be using the Rex Ambassador. One of my favorite razors closest shave that I've ever gotten is from the Rex Ambassador. Soap in my mouth. And I'm using a new blade today. The Schick Double Edge. They just re-released these. or not re-released. Schick just started making blades again, I guess. Um, I saw someone post about it. And actually, I think it was Kier in the Double Edge Shave Den. He's uh, the admin for that group. And then I was talking about it with some of the other groomsmen. And Scott decided, hey, I'm in. I mean him split a, a sleeve of 100, so he got 50 and I got 50. He ordered it and then he had a razor. I sent him the, the Yates to borrow. And I'm starting at three, just a little past three. The continuous dial doesn't have to be like right on three, just a little past three. But he had a razor of mine, so I told him to, I sent him some money to pay for my half and then told him to just bring it back or send it back, the blades with the, the razor. The Rex is definitely a very efficient razor and it's got a lot of blade fuel. It took me a long time to like this razor. I think I traded for it actually. I can't remember what I traded for it. It's been a while. But it had so much blade fill and I wasn't sure how to use it. And uh, for a while there I tried a shim trick to make it a little bit less aggressive. So on the top cap I had done these little strips of like uh, electric tape on the top cap so that it added a little bit basically make the top cap a little thicker and force the blade edge down a little bit more so it wasn't as out as much it'd be a little bit more down and change the blade angle i saw it on a forum somewhere i thought it was interesting so i gave it a try and it worked it definitely makes it a little less uh blade forward 
So if you have a Rex and you're having issues, you could always try that. I mean, I just put strips on there on the, on the top cap and then I just cut off the edges. So the tape wasn't sticking out. I know some people don't like that mod. I think a razor should be good all on its own without any modification, which I totally, totally get. I don't use that trick any longer. I just found out if I had actually kind of clued me in on it. I just had issues finding the right angle because I'm used to riding the, if I'm having issues with an aggressive razor, you kind of go more out and ride the guard more. Um, but I found with blade forward razors, after Fayez told me this, um, Fayez told me that you need to ride the guard versus riding the cap. And I found that to be true for most razors that are blade forward. So because of the geometry of those blades and that kind of configuration that the riding the guard works better than riding the top cap. And that really changed how the razor performed for me as well. As you can see, I had three days growth coming out the weekend. I don't normally shave on the weekends, sometimes. But not normally. Alright. I don't think it says the, a paladin brush. It's all covered in soap right now. Um, it kind of slipped down into my bowl. This is a Halloween special edition. It's got that kind of pearlescent greenish color. And then there's a Halloween design, a uh, jack collar. I won this one in a raffle and I quite like it. At first, I have a lot of stuff that took me a while to figure out. I think that kind of goes with the, don't let the first impressions kind of sway you from like selling something right away. Uh, when I first got it, I hadn't had, I think this might've been like the best badger I've gotten. At the time it was the best badger I owned, the most expensive. So I wasn't used to that kind of badger. It's got pretty gel tips. They're not like slimy, like uh, maybe just a little bit. The Jealousy from AP Shave Co is much more treated this is lightly treated, I think, and not heavily treated. But I wasn't used to that at all, so I was like, wasn't sure. Like it felt different, wasn't sure if I liked it. But I do, I do like it now. Um, it is really soft, takes a little effort to get the soap off the bottom. It's not like, you don't have to push harder anything, it just requires a little bit more time at the bowl. <clears throat> just because the bristles are so soft. The Rex is probably the only adjustable razor I own that I usually adjust down as I go. I'm going to just above a two on the adjustment dial, if you can see that. There you should be able to see it. Most adjustable razors like the Fat Boy or if you want to call the 6S adjustable. I have a hard time calling it adjustable because of the thick space plates, but whatever. In any case, I usually just find a setting I like and then I leave it there for the whole shave. But the rest I found for me in my face works best if I dial it down as I go. Kind of like keep it on the same setting all the way through, then I increase my chances for irritation and razor burn. So 
So far I don't have any complaints about these blades at all. It's really smooth. The Rex can be a little blade picky sometimes I feel. I'm not sure if everyone finds that to be true, but. Really nice. I'm definitely liking these blades so far. This is obviously the first use of them. I'll have to run through more razors, but <clears throat> so far, I'm liking it. I think there was some conversation online recently. Like the only other newish blade that came out recently I that I know of was the uh, the PA blades, the Strange Slits. Which were pretty popular, I mean, in certain groups, I guess. Um, I picked up a tug just because I was curious. I think I ordered something else from there, so I do it in, in addition to... I don't remember, like a new tip for my metaphor, or maybe I was buying a soap or something for them. So I had picked up a tuck of the, or a sleeve of the Strangelets, and I, I ended up not liking them. I thought it was interesting, because at the beginning, it was nothing but positive reviews. Um, but then I got the blades and I just had, I didn't have a single positive experience with them. I went through a whole tuck, I tried them in different razors, and that blade is just not for me. And then I saw someone just posted a, I think it was Shave Talk on Facebook. It's the group started by IMCDB. And somebody asked a, a poll. I don't know if it was a poll. Somebody asked about it. About the strange lids and people's experiences with them and... It seemed like the overwhelming majority, at least on that group, of people that chimed in were not positive. There were some people that really liked them. They're always all right. I mean, your mileage may vary. Um, but it seemed like the overwhelming majority of the people that tuned in for that and commented on it were uh, not happy with those blades. But these blades, so far, Seems like the overall, I haven't seen, I mean, there's not a lot of people that have, I don't think have gotten them. Uh, the Razor Club just started stocking them last week. And I think Triblade is supposedly starting to get some soon. Somebody said something about that. But of the few reviews that have come out, they've been positive. But again, I guess it's not telling because it was like that for the Strange Ones too. But I like these. I did dial this down again. I'm currently at a uh, 1.6. A little past halfway between 1 and 2. Get that edge right there by the beard. I do find as I go down, I'm currently, you know, like the 1.6, but the blade fill is pretty significantly reduced. Still very efficient. I feel like on this razor, when I reduce, 
when I dial down, I dial down blade exposure, but I don't dial down efficiency. I think the geometry is spot on on this razor for efficiency. I know for people that don't like the blade feel, they made the, the console, which is an adjustable slant, and boasts a, uh, a neutral blade exposure. I did get to try that on a pass around. Uh, Scott and the other groomsmen, our fearless leader, he, uh, he has one, and he let me borrow it once. It was really nice. I almost bought one, and then I decided to buy a different razor. I still might go back. I, I really like the the gold on the console. The knurling pattern on the handle is different. It's got this kind of diamond knurling that really stands out, and I really like it. It looks slick and gold, but it's super expensive. I need to sell some stuff off and buy it. <laughs> I think that was it. I'm always struggling to get this spot on my jawline right here. And I think I just found like the perfect angle. Knock that right out. That was awesome. And I have these swirls in my beard, kind of underneath my ear on both sides. So can't be it. Still the best shape I've ever had. It took a while. I almost sold this a bunch of times, but I'm glad I kept it and kept at it. Steep angle, right the guard, because man, like the closeness of the shave. I have some other razors that give like obviously really close BBS shaves as well, but this one will last like all day. Like tomorrow I'll be like, yeah, I don't even really need to shave. I will anyway. I'm going to do a, a quick cold water rinse and then we'll come back for some post shave and see how the splash is from Timberman. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm back. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, I didn't really get to show off the handle earlier because it was all covered in uh, soap. But that's the, the Paladin Jack Hauler edition with the chubby-esque handle. I really like it. Won that off a raffle. I was really happy with it. Splash Timberman. And we got a bit of a, a woody oud, oody wood. I think oud was actually the first note on the, the list. It's not like super forward oud. It's not like a stinky oud. Um, compared to like Sangre de Drago, I think is more oud forward. I'll just give him that alcohol a second to kind of dry off. Man, my skin feels great. 
I can't tell if it's just the soap or if it's the soap and the Rex. Like I said, the, the Holy Caw blends skincare with standard shaving performance. So my skin feels, but that, that Rex shave was just, man, the ambassador is a close shave. All I know is that whole combination right there, probably the best shave of mine. The soap was on point, the razor was on point, the blade was perfect. Man. I really like the scent. I do. I wasn't sure off the puck if I'd like it or not. But it, it is. It's a nice woody scent. It's got a bit of a cologne kind of background. So you get like that oud and those kind of woody scents. But then there's like a bit of a cologne in the back. I guess Timmerman was another pharmacist in New York and past years bought them out at some point. And when they were going through all the old stuff that they had, the old files and stuff, they found these old um, recipes for different scent accords and whatnot. And they worked with Holy Caw to develop some of them. Obviously they used Holy Caw's base, but I guess the scent for the Timmerman and there's a Timmerman red as well. It came from those old files from like, well, you know, uh, estimated or established 1869. I guess that's when Timmerman was established. I'm not sure if that's when the, the scent itself was established or that was just the, the company Timmerman, but 1869 classic is the scent there. I really like it. Nice woody oud, kind of a cologne base at the, at the bottom there. It's nice. I do have the, the bomb as well it came as part of that set that I bought. Um, the trifecta, as you will. They also have a toner, a witch hazel based splash instead of alcohol based, if that's more your thing. Uh, I do like their tubes for their bombs. It's got a vacuumless pump in there, so there's no tubing that goes in there. It just creates a vacuum seal, and then, um, oh my god, locked. And then it just pumps out using that vacuum seal. But I guess I haven't ever, I only have a couple of these that I've used before. Um, but theoretically, you'll never have any like residue in the bottom. Like you won't miss some that you can't get out with like a normal pump. Uh, it'll just get all of it out until it's completely empty. But you can also open the lid too if you wanted to. That was a great shave. Well, these products are really nice. They're expensive, I ain't gonna lie. Holy cause, a little expensive. So if you're trying to buy the trifecta, I think it's 29 bucks for a tub of soap, which is four ounces. Um, so it's a little bit on the expensive side, comparatively speaking. You buy the splash and the, the balm after that, and it, you know, it ratchets up. And like I said, I bought mine at the buy, sell, buy, sell trade pages. Um, so if you're interested in trying them out, I would uh, recommend you keep your eye on those like I do. I got two trifectas, the soap, the splash, and the balm for two different sets for 70 bucks on the, the buy sell trade page. And they're the splashes, you know, so they're probably about 80% full. That's like very, very majority of the soap is still there, scraped only. So there's some good deals to be had out there. But thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I, uh, I hope I swayed some of you guys to try the Ambassador. And if you don't like it right away, I definitely suggest, you know, putting it away for a couple days and then coming back to it because this razor, once you dial it in, choice. Hope you have a good one. Hope you had a good weekend and a good Father's Day. I certainly did. See you next time.